but somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly, somewhere I read of the freedom of speech, somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Police officers suspected of wrongdoing paid to sit at home while they're under investigation. That's complete nonsense. There's no law requiring that. There's nothing requiring that. Some for months, others for years. The officer, just like everybody else, is innocent until they're proven guilty. Tonight, questions about whether your tax dollars are being spent properly. Jace Larson's going 360. Is it right, wrong, or are there other options? No doubt, many police do work that a lot of us would be afraid to do, but we found hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars going to officers who are suspected of misconduct. Officers paid to sit at home while departments investigate allegations. Over five years, Lakewood paid $47,000. Jefferson County Sheriff's Office paid almost $150,000. Aurora, $345,000. One Aurora officer was on leave over three calendar years and paid a total of $109,000. Other people raked in $39,000, $28,000, and $18,000. Denver provided two years of data showing deputies, officers, and firefighters under investigation were paid half a million dollars to sit at home and not work. One of the Denver deputies under two investigations was paid $76,000. All of this made us want to go 360 on whether law enforcement should be paid to sit at home during an investigation. This police union president tells us why officers deserve to be paid. This well-known attorney thinks he has a better plan. And this respected police chief says there is room for improvement. Let's start with the union. They should be afforded the same right as everybody else has. Fraternal Order of Police President Sergeant Mark Sears says making an officer go without pay during an investigation just isn't right. Is it really fair to just have an accusation against somebody? And then we have to remember that officers still have mortgages. They still have bills. They still have families. They still have a livelihood that is what is being taken away from them. He says you can't rush to judgment with someone's livelihood, even if it takes time. Yeah, you could have somebody say there's enough probable cause to believe that this could have occurred, but we haven't taken it anywhere close to the point of saying beyond a reasonable doubt this person has done it. After allegations swirled that Aurora officer Roland Albert stole money from a police nonprofit, he was put on paid leave August 17th of last year. Investigators claim they had evidence showing the theft. Well, Albert resigned as the organization's treasurer, but held on to his job and his paycheck for four months. He's still waiting for his day in court. Well-known civil rights lawyer David Lane's viewpoint is extended leave just isn't right. You know, if they have probable cause to believe that you have committed a serious violation, you shouldn't get paid leave. And if you do and you're later found guilty or the investigation shows misconduct, there should be some attempt made to maybe recoup some of the money. Lane also thinks an internal affairs investigation can happen before a criminal trial. Courts have determined that what a police officer tells internal affairs can't be used against an officer in court. Well, my perspective, number one, is to try to get the investigation done as quickly as possible. One man who brings considerable law enforcement experience to our area is Aurora Chief Nick Metz. But his view, rushing an investigation could block justice. And allegations aren't always true. Are some officers wrongly accused? It happens. It absolutely happens. Case in point, remember that Denver deputy paid more than 70000 to sit at home? Well, it turns out the internal affairs investigations found no policy violations or misconduct, and the DA dropped all the charges. Met says he's always interested in ideas to improve the process, but he says a person's Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate themselves means he shouldn't force an officer to talk to internal affairs before a criminal investigation is done. One view everyone agrees with, the number of cops who end up the subject of an investigation is a small percentage of the force. Do you have a perspective that we didn't touch on? Well, come chat with me right now on my Facebook page. Just search Jace Larson. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man.